Right, you're making a passive amplifier to suit your phone. So the first thing you need to do is to have a look at your phone and where the speaker is. So this one I've taken out the case and I notice the speaker is on the back. So I need to know where that is as I think about the design of the passive amplifier. So I'm going to use this as a way of practicing isometric drawing. So this is quite a simple thing to draw if we assume it's a rectangular block. So with isometric drawing basically you look at it like that and then you tilt it 30 degrees upwards. There's three basic simple steps. So let's put that there and start. You want sharp pencil, clean hands, plain piece of paper and a desk that you can actually sit against. Your elbow of your right hand, if you're right handed, needs to be resting on the desk. You need to get used to turning the paper around because it's much more comfortable that way. So the first thing I do is very very faintly draw a crate or um, an imaginary plastic, clear plastic box. Right, so let's draw that basic crate. I'm going to have to draw a bit harder, press a bit harder than, than you will need to because the lines should be really really faint but uh, you won't be able to see them if I do that. So first of all we draw a vertical line and then we turn the paper around and we draw a line at 30 degrees that way and 30 degrees that way. The next thing we need to do is to put on that corner there and that corner there. So that's going to be about there and here. And then the next thing is the top face. So here is quite a thin object. Don't worry too much about the length of the lines because your lines will be a lot fainter than these. You don't need to rub anything out. Um, but there's our basic crate. Those lines in your on yours should be much fainter. Right, so I'm going to look here, and this is the speaker on the back of the phone. There, there's the camera, there's the speaker. So the camera's on the centre. So I can draw a line like that with the centre line of the phone, and the speaker is about there, just off centre. The speaker is there, and let's draw a little oval shape to show the speaker. Now I need to know how far in that is from the end. So I'm going to take a couple of lines off there and put a dimension line there. And the same here. Now your phone might have a speaker in the edge, down here perhaps, uh, or on the front, in which case I have to draw it the other way up. So I'm going to measure that in a moment and put the sizes there. And that's probably about 25 millimeters in this case, and that way is probably about 20. But you can measure yours and do it accurately. Right, now we're to finish this drawing off, the corners are rounded, so we will just put a radius on there like that, drop a vertical line there, and bring the same shape round the bottom. Now this will all be faint when you do yours. Um, in this case I'm going to take a fine liner and go over it in an attempt to make it stand out from the page. If you do your lines faint, you won't have that problem because all you've got to do is go over it in a pencil again. You don't need to rub anything out. So I'm going over it in a fine liner now. You will do this in a harder pencil. initial guidelines because your eye just won't notice them because they'll be so faint. Now this is a key communication skill for DT so you need to make sure that isometric sketching is one of the things that you can do well. So we're starting with this very simple object 